We're going to do a very simple but yet a classic problem for beginners. Okay? So, if you can solve this with ease, then you're good to go. Now, here's a problem which I have seen from my experience. Many people make a mistake in this. It's not a neat level problem at all. It's just, you know, just, just see. You have a rocket that is accelerating upwards at some acceleration of 2 meters per second square. The rocket has a mass of, let's say, 10,000 kilograms. Calculate the thrust force. Now, what is so... I mean, what can you go wrong in this? Or where can you go wrong in this? Well, the thing is, what is not mentioned, or what is uh, a little bit subtle over here, is that there is gravity. It's on Earth, okay? I mean, unless or until it's mentioned that you're in outer space somewhere or something like that, it's pretty much on Earth. So there is gravity. So people, so the question might mention that there is gravitational force downwards or there's gravity downwards, something like that. In such case, remember that gravity is also acting on this rocket. So if you draw a free body diagram, so if here is your rocket, then there's a force Mg acting downwards and there's a thrust force, I call this Ft, acting upwards. And together, they give you an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. Most of the time, people forget about this gravity. And so they get the wrong answer. So once you do this, this is pretty much simple. So we just use Newton's second law in the y direction. I'm going to call this as the y direction. Sigma Fy equals mass times acceleration in the y direction. I'm pretty soon going to stop writing these equations over and over again. I want to minimize the amount of work that I do on the paper. Uh, so make sure you get practice for this. Okay. And upward direction is positive. So thrust force is positive. Mg is negative because it's downwards. That should be equal to mass times the acceleration in the y direction. There's only one acceleration. So thrust force must be equal to minus mg 10,000 times g that gives you 10 to the power 5. Notice that it's a four zeros and there's another zero that's 10 to the power 5 times mass which is 10 to the power 4 times the acceleration that's uh, that's 2 into 10 to the power 4 or that's 0.2 into 10 to the power 5. I hope you are able to follow this. Therefore the thrust force turns out to be you bring this towards the right that's 1.2 10 to the power 5 or we can just say it is about 1200 all right just put two zeros over here kilonewtons that's the thrust force which is needed or which is delivered to the rocket so another example of f equals ma 